Hey everyone, welcome back to Code Row. In this video, I want to go over the best way to learn the Godot engine if you're new and starting out. So if you're brand new to Godot or game development in general, I recommend going to godotengine.org and hitting this docs button to see the documentation. And you just want to go through the introduction and just keep going down and eventually you'll get to this getting started part, which is going to be able to give you the full introduction to Godot and you'll be creating your first 2D game called Dodge the Creeps. And then you'll also recreate the same thing in 3D. And I highly recommend following this before starting anything because the Godot documentation is very reliable and it'll give you an exact step by step on what you need to learn and to get familiar with the UI. And once you complete those documentations by Godot in the 2D 3D project, I recommend you checking out Brackies. So Brackies used to be a Unity game developer and now he has switched over to Godot. I highly recommend starting with this make a game in Godot and he'll teach you how to make this pretty simplistic uh, platformer game where you can collect coins, uh, make sure you try to dodge enemy mobs or else they'll kill you when you run into them, a little slow motion and reset button and so on. And it just helps you get really familiar with the UI and just creates this really cute graphic pack that he that he gives via the video. Oops. And yeah, I highly recommend checking it out. It's it's really it, it is an amazing course to help me get used to the UI pretty quickly. And then after completing his how to make a video game in the Godot beginner tutorial, I recommend checking out his how to program in Godot using GDScript. GDScript is the most common language used in the Godot engine. You can also use Python, C++, and C Sharp, and they can also coexist in the same program, meaning you don't just have to stick to one language. And then directly after finishing those two, I recommend doing the learn GDScript from zero. Some things are going to be a little repetitive like the syntax, but they have really, really good lessons, and they have some pretty amazing lessons that teach you what it's like to be a programmer, and what you should be doing, how to program properly, and the right way to call functions, and so on. It starts you from the very basics, and you'll have little quiz questions that that you do throughout the course. They'll also give you some practices with their own compiler made in Godot. And then you'll simply get a task on the left what you're supposed to do. And if you're having trouble, you can use hints to check on hints. And then you can hit run to run the code to see if you've coded properly. And there are a total of 27 lessons that you can go through. And I've done this quite a few times, so I keep resetting, just skipping to the end and only doing practices. And after you learn how to code, I recommend checking out this Your First 2D Game From Zero, which creates a vampire survival style like game using Godot. It's by GD Quest. I'll link their YouTube channel in the description below. They also have a lot of high quality tutorials that you can use in order to further enhance your learning. And while developing your tutorial on how to create that Vampire Slayer, I would recommend making it your own and really add whatever you want to it to try to make your own custom game. So for example, I made this little one trying to, uh, I just changed the graphics of it and just pretty much a very simple template that I'm working on at the moment. And yeah, highly recommend checking it out. Amazing. And it'll, it'll also give you four coupons if you're planning to buy some courses by GD. And I do recommend doing that if you have the money for it. It is $216 uh, at the time of making this video. There is some early access. It does come with 2D, 3D and Node Essentials. Um, You can also specifically just buy one of the course if you scroll down. So for example, the 2D alone, if that's the only one you want is 84 bucks as opposed to the 216. I just got all three because I just want to show some support to them. But of course, if money's an issue, then do not worry about this. You can get by without doing these courses. They are structured in a way that kind of helps you speed your learning and get into the engine as soon as possible. Starts you from zero, gives you a lot of practices, and it comes with quite a few modules that you can do on their downloadable client. It'll have like a get to know Godot section and you can just start learning. And there's, there's going to be like some little widget that pops up in order to tell you how to use the UI. And then basically after you go through these, you'll be able to move to the next step. So for example, I already clicked play and then it says next step and so on. And now it's going to give a quick tour. It's very cute. It's very friendly. And I just love how GD Quest made this a very gamified way of learning. But if you don't want to pay and you're looking for free alternatives, I highly recommend the ultimate introduction to Godot 4 by ClearCode. It has 1.5 million views and it is a 12 hour course. It's a ridiculously long, 11 and a half hour, and it teaches you how to make this uh, top down shooter. It helps you get used to the UI and it teaches you how to make these top down shooter games and goes through every single step of the way. And just a very nice beginner friendly tutorial that I'd recommend watching. Next up, I recommend Gene Makes Games. He has this amazing course called 3D RPG and Godot 4 Crash Course. And it's an amazing course compact with so much information in just four and a half hours. 
And it goes through a lot of the fundamentals of creating a 3D game in the Godot engine. And it does teach you how to create this pirate looking character that walks around very intro to 3D, like has HP bar, you can collect gems and so on. And you can also check out the timestamps to see exactly what you'll be going over, such as attacking, gravity, jumping, animations, and so on. And then of course, I do recommend just coming back to the learn GD script from zero if you're not 100% confident in programming, skipping all the way to the end and just doing the practices. And then you can also reset your progress and wipe out everything by clicking this reset button and then restarting from zero. And if you wanna skip the very first one because it's simply just welcome to Godot, you can go ahead and do that, start from lesson two and so on or whatever lesson that you're having trouble with. And just remember that programming is a craft. You're not expected to know everything in programming and the fun part is just finding challenges that will test your mentality in order to just become a better programmer. Remember to have fun with game development. Join the Godot engine on Discord to get some beginner-friendly help, quick help, or even some advanced help by experienced Godot developers. There is a lot to discuss in GDScript, C Sharp, C++, or whatever language you choose to program in. There are also support chats for Godot 4 and Godot 3 and so on. And good luck with your game engine in Godot. Feel free to join my Discord in the description below too if you require some help in Godot. I'll be personally helping out um, all my users and everyone, all my Discord members, however I can. And of course, my recommendations that I've listed are simply just what I follow to get the confidence to create my own game using Godot. And I'll be making more Godot tutorials to just go over how to make games in Godot in both 2D and 3D, along with some assets that I'll be providing myself. And that covers today's tutorial. Thanks for watching Code of the Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.